is Wagyu tallow a scam? Let's talk about it. If you've been absent from the meat internet lately, you've probably missed a lot of creators taking a regular steak and then taking Wagyu tallow, which is a fancy way of saying rendered Wagyu fat, and they'll coat the steak in the tallow before cooking it or actually even shallow fry it in heaps of melted Wagyu fat. And then they'll be like, oh my God, this tastes just like Wagyu. Now, yes, it's true. The fat alone is much cheaper than buying a Wagyu steak and it will enhance the flavor. But the thing is, adding any animal fat to that amount is gonna do the same thing, especially if you're just coating it on top and it's not intramuscular, which means inside the muscle. All three of these, <laughs> all three of these are fats that I keep in my fridge. This one's for my brisket trimmings. This is my dry age fat. And yes, it does have a different flavor. And this is pork lard that you can get in the grocery store is like three bucks. So if I were to take a select steak and shallow fry it in animal fats, it would probably taste better than if I hadn't done that. Not just because it's fat, but also because of the extra flavors that develop when you fry things. You know that I'm a hardcore carnivore, but adding this much fat to a steak on a regular basis is probably not a good idea. So to address the myth, will adding any animal fat, including Wagyu tallow, make your steak taste crazy good? Yes. Will adding Wagyu tallow make any steak taste like Wagyu? No, I'm calling bullshit.